Hey guys, Elpoka77 here and welcome back to another Team This Season Silver Player Review. So I was having a look to see which Team This Season players have been reviewed the most and I was trying to find a few that haven't been reviewed as much and it seems that Team This Season Racine has kind of gone down under the radar a little bit and I haven't seen many reviews of him on YouTube and he's actually a really fun player to use. So I thought I'd review him for you guys today. I've been using him in this 4-3-2-1 squad with the Team of Season Dermich up there and he's not played too badly there, played him as a right forward. In terms of his price he's only been going for about sort of 25 to 30k recently, that's mainly because he's in Serie B but you can still make a really nice team around him. As usual we can take a look at his stats and on the card he's got some really nice stats there, he's got 84 pace, 83 dribbling, 78 shooting and 77 passing. He has been changed from a centre attacking mid to a right winger so the normal card is a centre attacking mid and if I'm honest he is better suited to that, to centre attacking because of his passing but he still has some really nice in-game stats he's five foot six he's left footed with medium low work rates and three star skill moves and three star weak foot you'll be able to see all of the in-game stats on your screen so i'm just going to read out a couple of the best ones you've got 99 balance 92 curve 88 free kick accuracy and 87 shot power those are the best stats in game so we can move on to the gameplay now and I'll talk a bit about how Team This Season Racina performed in game. And overall he was a very, very nice player. I did use him quite a lot as right forward, but I also tried him on three chemistry as a centre attacking mid in my Serie B Silver squad, exactly where the non-informed Racina plays for me. And to be honest, if you do want to play him at centre attacking mid, I didn't notice much of a difference. Half these goals have probably been scored at centre attacking mid on three chemistry, and half of them have been on ten chemistry at right forward. So it's really up to you where you play, play him. In terms of things I noticed, in terms of the positive first you got he has excellent dribbling his dribbling is so so nice it's really nice and smooth he kind of just glides around defenders I think he's got about 85 dribbling in game 84 or 85 dribbling in game that's why really also you've got the 99 balance and the stats that is most basically most of his physical attributes really other than the strength that just makes his dribbling really really nice I did not mention his strength so I may as well mention that he is incredibly weak his strength is very very low about 35 or something it's one of one of his only negatives really he does have a couple of negatives but his strength that is very 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 bad. He also has amazing ball control, I noticed that as well, he never loses the ball really, he just takes it down straight away and it's something I, I don't notice on every single player I use, but I definitely noticed it on Racina. He also has very very high acceleration, he does feel a bit sluggish at times, he's got the 84 pace on the card which means I think equates to about 88 acceleration in game and about 81 sprint speed. So 81 sprint speed isn't too bad as a winger but it would be much better suited to centre attacking mid. The 88 acceleration is helpful but it does mean he does get caught up quite easily by fast left backs. He also has really great shooting to be honest, he's got a 78 shooting on the card and I didn't expect anything less, the non-informed shooting is excellent and the inform or the team in the seasons is just a tiny bit better. He has great finesse shots due to the high curve. I think the, the curve is about 90 something, as I mentioned in the in game stats. So you will score finesse shots with him fairly easily, especially if you're cutting in from the right side. Also, has fantastic long shots, as I mentioned. He's got one of those really nice curling long shots that you can hit straight across the goal and it will usually find its way into the top corner. Also, has fairly good work rates as well, pretty much perfect in my opinion. He's got medium low work rates, which is really, really nice. Doesn't go back too much, stays up front. And he's also incredibly cheap for his stats. For 25k, those those are incredible stats on the card, 84 pace, 83 dribbling, 78 shooting and 77 passing. But for all those stats I felt that he was wasted quite a bit as a right winger as he's better made for a centre attacking mid. And to be honest you may as well play him there because of his passing stats, even if you sub him on in game, definitely try him as centre attacking mid. So to sum everything up, here are my overall thoughts. He's excellent dribbling, he's got amazing ball control, he's very very high acceleration, he also has great finesse shots due to the high curve, he has fantastic long shots, also has perfect work rates which are medium low and he's also cheap for stats but he does have a couple of negatives and that is he is incredibly weak, he felt a little slow at times, he has incredible passing stats uh, so he's pretty much wasted as a winger in my opinion, much better as centre attacking mid even if you're playing him a three chemistry and he didn't always get in the game, as a right winger I, did, I felt that he couldn't affect the game as much as he should should have done really. As a centre attacking mid you could have made the most of, a, of the 77 passing. At right wing you couldn't really do that. So lastly I've got to give him a final rating. I'm going to give him a 7.5 out of 10. I couldn't quite justify an 8 out of 10 for him as I felt as a right winger he wasn't as good as he should have been and he would have been much better as a centre attacking mid. But by all means try him out anywhere you want. He's only 25 to 30k so he's incredibly cheap for his stats. So try him at centre attacking mid on 3 chemistry, see what you think and then try him at right wing on 10 chemistry you probably won't notice much of a difference. So there we go guys, that is it for my Team This Season Racina review. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to give this a like and let me know which players you want me to review next. I'll of course try and review most of the Team of Season players that haven't already reviewed as the Team of the Week this week isn't great so I may as well just carry on reviewing the Team of Season players. So thanks for watching guys, cheers.